Born Patricia Sue Head in Clarksville, Tennessee, basketball always seemed to be part of her life. In college, she played without a scholarship because at that time, there were none for women. She was a great player, but an even better coach. I don't know what you're going to do, but you better come out of this locker room with a big time attitude. She took over the women's basketball program at Tennessee in 1974 and transformed it into one of the greatest dynasties in all of college athletics. In 38 years with the Lady Balls, her teams made 38 consecutive NCAA tournament appearances, reached 18 Final Fours, and won eight national championships, including an undefeated season. While she was proud of what her players accomplished on the court, she also talked about the people they became off the court. It has been a privilege to make an impact on the lives of 161 women who have worn the orange. Summit was named the NCAA Coach of the Year seven times and has the record for most wins by a Division I head coach, 1,098 games. In August of 2011, Summit announced that she had been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease. Despite the diagnosis, she did finish the season, but with a reduced role. I, I may be old as dirt when I'm still, you know, trying to win ball games. In April of 2012, Summit officially stepped down as head coach. It's never a good time, but you have to find the time that you think is the right time, and that, that is now. A month after she retired, President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Pat Summit will be remembered for her knowledge, methods, and inspiration that extended far beyond the walls of a Tennessee gymnasium. Dan Sheneman, NBC News.